Putting on my moisturizer. All good. <laughs> what moisturizer are you using, dear? Elizabeth Arden. Eight hour cream. Pinched it from my handbag. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a first impression on the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. So I recently picked this up from the Anastasia uh, website and it came really fast. It came within a few days, which is really awesome. So I picked up the shade Alabaster and as you can see, because I've already got it on my face, it is looking pretty fair, which is awesome. It's a good color match. Um, and just a few claims about this before we get into the demonstration. It's meant to be a very highly pigmented, buildable cream foundation stick with a natural matte finish, ideal for normal to oily skin types. I do love the packaging, it's something else I adore. I think it's very sleek and I love the beautiful rose gold detailing. I think it's lovely and it's got rose gold there on the ferrule too. You get 9 grams of product in here, which is a little bit more than the hourglass, which is about 7.2 grams, I think. Um, so it is good, you do get a lot more and it is a lot less expensive than the hourglass stick foundation which is kind of what I'm comparing it to in my experience of stick foundations. So just a little bit of information about my skin type as well. I have a normal skin type that can lean a little oily in the T-zone but I do also have very dry cheeks at the moment. So pretty much at the moment I have combination skin. My cheeks um, are a little bit dry from a skincare product that my skin did not like and didn't, wasn't happy with and so it's really gotten quite dry and sort of my skin texture is looking a lot more bumpy than normal so obviously that has affected it a little bit but it does give you a bit of an indication on how it works on like normal to oily skin and then dry skin types as well and obviously my skin tone is very 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 porcelain with a neutral to cool undertone so I'm just going to apply it really similar to how I applied the hourglass um, stick foundation so just do some little kind of strokes around my face and then blend it in I've got either a beauty blender or the hourglass brush it doesn't glide onto the face as easily as the hourglass did that's like an initial I can tell right off the bat that it's quite different the color looks to be a really good match which is awesome Okay, it is not blending out very easily at all. So that's one layer. It's actually done a pretty poor job of covering. I don't think this has that much coverage in it. Yeah, it's meant to be like a really highly pigmented, um, buildable coverage. So um, I might put a little bit more on and see how we go. Okay, so I've added quite a bit more. Um, I, I hate it. <laughs> It looks awful, it looks so bad. So, I'll zoom you in, you'll see what I mean. So my forehead is kind of where it's looking the best. It is giving pretty good coverage, um, and the texture looks okay. But as we move down to like my cheek area, you can see how much it's clinging to this dryness here. Like I do have a real kind of dry sort of texture on my skin at the moment, just from, um, as I say, a bit of a skincare reaction. Um, but it shouldn't be that bad. And all on my chin, it is just clinging and making it look like my skin is like, like look at that, so bad. And I had to use a lot of product to get this kind of coverage and like I'm still having things peeking through so it's not like full full coverage and it does feel like I'm wearing a lot of product. I must say though that the colour is really good as you can see between my face and my neck the colour match is really nice so I think if you, yeah, if you have oily skin, this is probably going to blend out a lot easier on oily skin as well because it was a really tough job to blend out and I did have moisturizer on underneath um, and I was using a brush that does blend foundation beautifully and my beauty blender normally blends foundation fine as well but I was just struggling away with this today so so far I'm not very impressed actually or at least it's not going to probably work for me but um, I'll put on the rest of my makeup and then check back in with you guys. So here are some swatches for a shade comparison. This is the Anastasia Stick Foundation in Alabaster, which as you can see has quite a neutral undertone and does match me fairly well, or at least matches my arm fairly well. <laughs> this is the Hourglass Vanish uh, Foundation in Blanc, which is a little bit lighter and quite pink toned. This is the Too Faced Born This Way in Snow, which compared to these very, very pale foundations, it looks a little on the darker side, but actually, when I use, um, when I blend it out on my skin, it, it sort of adapts to suit my skin tone quite well. And this is the Illamasqua Skin Base in 02, which is again, another foundation that matches me very, very, very well. So this is what it looks like with the rest of my makeup on. It doesn't look quite as bad once, obviously, a little bit more face products is put on, but 
still not very good for me, I don't think. Um, I do love the colour, that's the one thing about it that I'm really, really happy with. The colour match is really great, but it's just the texture on my skin looks so bad. And I know I do have dry cheeks at the moment, but even on my forehead and nose and chin where my skin's absolutely fine and normal, it looks pretty cakey and kind of just not very flattering at all. I don't really like the way it feels on my skin, it feels quite heavy, and I don't like how much product I had to use to get a fuller coverage, like you really have to put quite a bit on, um, and it was really difficult to blend out. So, so far there's been not too many things that make this very good, but I will zoom you in so you can see what it looks like with the rest of my makeup on as well. So I'll check back in with you guys within a few hours and we'll see how it's doing. Okay, so I'm just checking back in. It's about quarter past three. I forgot to say earlier, I had this makeup on at about 11 o'clock this morning. I'm always forgetting to say the time that I start these reviews. So yeah, it was about, um, it was about 11 o'clock. So in terms of how it's holding up, um, mm, there are parts of my skin where it looks quite good. Like literally, literally my chin looks quite nice, but then like... I don't know, they're just, it's just not looking that great, it's looking very heavy. Hopefully you can kind of see what I mean, like, as I say, the, the texture on my cheeks is understandable, but it, it really is feeling like kind of chunky on my nose, and it's also kind of looking really cakey and heavy. I just don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, that's all. And in the viewfinder, it, it's actually looking really nice, which is really annoying, <laughs> because I'm like, it doesn't look that good in real life. However, I mean, I don't think it's gotten like 10 times worse or anything since this morning and it has controlled my oil quite well um, in terms of I'm not looking like overly greasy or anything. So I think it is just a product that's designed for oily skin. But I will check back in with you guys in a few more hours, probably quite late tonight. I'm going to see how well it holds up and I might have rearranged some things here. I am planning to rearrange my lounge a little bit today because um, I got my ring light that finally arrived, which is very exciting. But um, so things might look a little different. So it's now 7 o'clock and this is what the foundation looks like after about 8 hours wear and I'm not very impressed. It is just so heavy looking. I cannot get past the texture of it. I love the colour, I just can't get past the formula. The fact that it's so heavy looking on my skin, it shows off every single pore and just, yeah, it just makes my skin look really textured. What's really frustrating is that in the viewfinder it doesn't actually look that bad, but it's just in real life it just really isn't sitting that flatteringly flatteringly is that even a word but it doesn't sit that nicely on the skin hopefully the camera is picking something up Hello. Gosh, it's cold out. I'm filming honey hey. I'm filming come look at my setup I changed the room around how do you do this over yourself I'm so because <laughs> I'm Wonder Woman come Hi. come look at my video Hello! Yay! Oh man, look at my eyes! Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, you could take glasses off. Then. Thanks for putting your fingers all over it. <laughs> They're so blue. Match. <laughs> we do. It's my, maybe a little bright. I'm still trying to play with the settings, but anyway. Yep. Beauty guru. Oh, bye. But that is just my opinion. If you have tried it, um, please leave your thoughts and your own experience in the comments below as, along with your skin type. It's really important that we know your skin type so we can get kind of a bit more of an idea about how this product works. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up for me because it does really help me out. And if you love seeing foundation reviews, then definitely subscribe because I do make them very regularly. And if you are a subscriber of mine and you want to get notified of when I put out videos, then click the little bell sign that's next to the subscribe button and that will let you know as soon as I've uploaded a video so you can be like first in, first watching. And until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful few days and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Three, two, one, Voldemort!